welcome to my channel my name is Renzi and this is the start of my ultimate decades challenge so this technically isn't my first video I had some technical difficulties after posting the former challenge and I was out of commission for a few months but morbid gamer has a, a very cool take on the decades challenge which I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with and I wanted to go ahead and start anew with this challenge. This is actually not my first time doing it. I did start it with another family and I was still in the first generation. I got a few years ahead, but then I realized it had been literal years since I updated my mods folder and it was and it was taking a toll on my game and I had to make the very difficult decision and completely reset, re-upload The Sims onto a new drive and completely redo my mods folder. So it's doing a lot better now and these are great conditions for me to make this video. So I'm rambling, I know, but I also wanted to give everyone a heads up that there are several trigger warnings with this challenge. It's not for everybody, a lot of which includes a lot of death, child mortality, starvation, and basically anything that you would expect from a let's play that takes place in medieval times. It's not for everyone, so if this is not the video for you, you're welcome to click out of it, and I'm sure I will have some new content that will be more to your liking in the future. So I'm not going to get too into what this challenge entails. I'll go ahead and link Morbid Gamer's information as well as a video where she goes um, into detail on how to play this because it's a very, I don't want to say complicated, but there's a lot to this challenge that is very different from the original Decades Challenge. It, it starts in the 1300s or the Middle Ages, and there are a lot of stipulations, a lot of rules that you have to look out for. It's definitely worth a read, and what I love most about this is it's super high stakes. You don't know if your sins are going to live to see the next day. It also comes with a very cool spreadsheet for you to keep track of things. But assuming that you have look this over already or know about it or are playing it yourself and really enjoy watching let's plays like me i will go ahead and introduce my family so this is the rolf family when i looked it up apparently it is a peasant surname i don't know if that is completely true i am pretty good with history but the finer details not so much and i will go ahead and warn that while i will try my best to stick to accuracy my limited cast at the moment may not reflect that so try not to be too hard on me but yeah so this is actually the heirs father um if you guys watched morbid gamers let's play then you know that she started with the parents of the first three in the first generation so i went ahead and, cr and created the father and the mother and i actually went in game and just mc command centered the kids because for some reason whenever you play with genetics and cast it looks really weird so i just did that and aged them up and this is what i got so here we have Edmund Rolf. He is the father of our first generation Sims. Uh, I just created him, randomized his traits. I have decided that he is a carpenter and I had him join the artisan career from the royalty mod to go ahead and get into that assuming he lives. This is the mother, Isolda. And yeah, I don't want to get too into uh, who they are uh, because they might not live past the next five minutes, but that's fine. I decided that she is a seamstress. So for the kids, I flipped a coin uh, to decide what the gender would be. The result was two male and one female. So this is James, our heir. He actually is super cute. I really like how he came out. So he's the firstborn. When I essentially randomized his aspiration, um, it decided on musical genius, which I thought would be perfect uh, to try the bard career for in the future once we have money. Also, a I actually chose music lover and animal enthusiast just because we know he'll be dealing with animals and possibly music. Um, so yeah, that's our heir. This is our second born, Elric, and wants to eventually work his way toward being a knight. I I also made him taller than James because as the eldest sibling I know too well that pain of having younger siblings who are taller than you. So I just thought that was a fun little addition here. 
Um, he actually looks very much like his father, and I just really love how the genetics worked out for these kids. And finally, this is the sim that you guys saw when my video started. This is the third born Emma, and very, very cute. I haven't known her that long, and I really love her. So I, I guess we'll see uh, where their paths lead them. And I decided that um, if all goes well, she might work toward becoming a midwife, which is a career that came from another mod. And I am not a great builder, but this is their little home. <laughs> this is their arrangement. I'm probably going to look for a CC that gives me um those pallet beds i think but these worked for now here is the farming plot that i have constructed so far nothing is there because i am big on rags to riches and starting them from literally nothing uh so they're gonna have to forage in order to plant i made a little pond here just to add a little something and yeah it's not much but it's this is their little home and we will build upon it as we go so it looks like Isolde and Edmund are being cute, uh, but now is the time where I decide, well, where the dice decides their fate. So let's go ahead and start with the first death roll. Okay, so first I'm going to go ahead and roll for Edmund. And, and he gets a three, which is unfortunately less than nine, which means he will not be making it past today. The kids are losing their dad. This is unfortunate. So Isolde needs to roll a nine or more in order to survive. So let's go. And she did not make it. Looks like the parents are not going to make it past right now and we're gonna have to go ahead and start with two deaths and the kids are left to their own devices which is super unfortunate all right so just because i've had issues with mcc where i lose their urns if i use it to kill them i'm just gonna go ahead and use ui to starve them to death and we'll use the wheel of death so while the parents meet their unfortunate fate and die off screen. I'm going to go ahead and roll to figure out how they died. Doesn't really matter since they're not first generation, but just for storytelling purposes. And I got this wheel, which was linked in Morbid Gamer's server. So um, if you guys join it, you can go ahead and check this out if you want to use this for storytelling purposes. Okay, so it looks like Edmund died from sepsis, which makes sense. And as for Isolde, she unfortunately died of whooping cough. So rest in peace to the parents. Here are the children mourning over their deaths while I wait for Grimm to come get them. And these poor kids, they're so young and they're faced with a very difficult reality of just trying to survive without their parents. And Grimm is just taking his sweet time. He is just letting these kids suffer. Okay, so I had to reset the parents because Grimm was not coming. So here are their headstones. Rest in peace. And I put a hawthorn tree at the back of the property because this is where I plan to bury any other bodies. Um, so yeah, here are the headstones for the kids to mourn in the future. So it looks like they're just talking about what they're going to do next. James really wanted to learn the ins and outs of becoming a bard, but now the reality of trying to survive and helping his siblings survive has hit him. I believe he's going to try and take up his father's previous profession and become a carpenter as well. Oh, he actually can't be a carpenter because he's still a teen. So for now, I think I'm going to have him join the page career with his brother. It's literally just a dollar an hour. They are going to be struggling. And as for Emma, young Emma. Let's have you start working too. So she is going to go ahead and start that path and become a midwife. Oh, looks like James hates affection. So um, I'm just going to go ahead and put, yeah, he's very touch repulse. He's grieving. He's just like, don't, don't. And so I'm actually going to rearrange their beds over here. And honestly, I might make a little privacy nook for the chamber pot toilet thing and he can't be a carpenter right now i'm going to delete his woodworking bench 
they make some money off that. This anvil was supposed to be a woodworking bench, but it doesn't work. It's not functional. There you go. I just added a little arch. And this is where the chamber pot is going to be, just to give them a little privacy. Okay, that'll work. So Elric's got to go to work in a bit. I'll have Emma just start some food. Actually, I'm going to have her go forage, which this sign, this handy dandy sign, came with the Yield Cookbook mod. You can go to the forest, go foraging. Um, there's the risk of running into bears, so I, I think I'm going to have Elric hunting put him at risk rather than James since he's the heir. Um, so yeah, since she loves the, the outdoors, I'll go ahead and have her do that. I'm going to have James. Yeah. I'm going to let him mourn for a little bit and then have him go into town and buy some supplies with the money he has left from selling his dad's stuff. Elric is off to work. I'm going to have him work hard. So let's go to the village. Oh, Oh, I think everything's closed. Hmm. Ooh, okay. So for storytelling purposes, let's not focus on this uh, little girl who's not dressed properly. So I created another family called the Cecils. They are nobles. I went all out, created the parents, the kids, and decided that their father was going to pass away as well. <laughs> Just because um, when I was creating their mother, uh, she looked really good in black and I figured she was mourning. So this is actually the daughter and she is a noble, but I thought, wouldn't it be neat if one of the boys met her and there was some kind of um, drama if something happened, but yeah, I'm not going to force it. I'll see if they have any compatibility to see if they're even attracted to each other. So she's walking by. She is very sad and mourning her father as well. I'm going to have James walk up to her and give her a respectful introduction. He's like, here's this pretty well-dressed girl walking by my house in the peasant village <laughs> oh, that was such a sad bow so they've met he's got some manners she is uh crying underneath let's get to know her a bit ask her what's wrong couldn't help but notice you were crying she's socially awkward that is adorable uh console about death because he knows how that feels I'm actually going to go ahead and use the um, the control any sim mod just so she can also console him. Uh, get to know him as well. She seems like a nice girl. She doesn't seem turned off by his rags. He is a music lover. We knew that. Ew, another noble lady walking by. She's also going to console him. She's like, wow, that's terrible. I just lost my father as well. And she appreciates his kindness. And oh my goodness, the queen... Okay, so I added a royal family from the gallery. And actually, if you search medieval and most popular, you'll get a few cool households. Uh, so the royal family that I chose, I actually chose a few um, from the gallery. These were really handy to populate my very empty save file. Uh, he's actually a blacksmith in town, but I used this family and I age the parents up as well. This is our king, and I use the royalty mod. He is the actual monarch of the land. Um, and I actually added this Prince Cassian to the mix, and that he is actually their oldest son and the heir. So I just thought that was a neat little storyline. I also added an advisor. Um, I know their family that I added and I think them as well, um, and these two ladies, just because this is the first time I'm using the royalty mod, so I was just playing around with it. Um, this is another family that I added. So yeah, uh, if you guys are looking to populate your save files, uh, this is a good way to start if you don't want to spend forever in cast. And one more cool thing before I head back to the game is this uh, said Marin. I'm sorry if I mispronounced that. If you look up the Ultimate Decades Challenge, hashtag in the gallery uh they're the creators of the royal family but they also created a bunch of different families uh that pretty much fit in with the time period and also different areas so you've got like a nordic family german vikings etc so yeah i love 
seeing what creators come up with and it was very useful so thank you Seth Marin for helping populate my save file so yeah and this is the queen this is how she looks when I um, updated her uh, I guess she's just making her rounds she's actually a very nice queen a very nice lady so I wouldn't be surprised that she's uh checking out her kingdom essentially and James where are you going um talk to Matilda lady matilda i guess he's a little intimidated because the queen is there um but she's just walking by it's okay oh she's going uh i guess the grief is a little too much it's fine let's see what he thinks of her i don't have the first impressions mod and i really like that he thinks she's pretty oh awesome we'll see where that goes i love a good divided class story i guess but Matilda also has a twin brother, so we'll probably meet him as well. So she's a rag cleaner. She could uh, wash some clothes, clean sink, not dirty. Uh, she also got back from foraging, so it looks like she found an apple, which I it's not in season. <laughs> some sage, which I guess is always in season. Uh, we'll go ahead and plant that. And some seeds which this is part of the yield cookbook uh, you can use it as an ingredient but uh, these are not super great finds but you know there's something i guess we'll go ahead and put the apples in this storage thingy this is actually by the same creator who made the override for windenburg i'll link in below as well but this is supposed to be um it's it's pretty much a fridge but it also functions as a shelf i'm sure they can figure out ways to preserve things i know you can make salted meat and stuff so i'll go ahead and put the seeds in there as well not a great foraging time but since she loves being outside and needs a little pick me up we'll go ahead and plant the sage he really wants to go nap on this bench why don't you just go lie down for a bit actually why don't you help your sister go make some gruel I'm sure there's not much to it. Have some for when Elric gets home. He's got to wash some dishes anyway as an assignment. So, all right. So dinner is ready. Go ahead and grab some food. I will have Emma do that as well. So they can talk about how sad they are for missing their parents. And she went and sat right next to her brother. It's so cute. They're so sad. They can't even talk. It's, it's so heartbreaking. Oh my gosh. She is so glitched right now because I age them up to teens from infants. So I guess the system still thinks they're infants. <laughs> Can't have any fun right now. I need you to just rest. I know you're tired. Just clean the dishes. Um, I'm going to have... Stop trying to nap over there. I'm going to have James quickly gather some water from the pond. Elric is also very not happy. You can go to sleep too. And this leftover gruel is not going to make it through the night. So Emma is off to work. And she needs to up her logic skill. We don't have a chess table. I might have to, story-wise, I'm assuming they're illiterate. Maybe she's slowly learning how to read as well while out doing her midwife, midwifery. Why won't he wash the dishes? I don't understand. He's also lacking in some fun. Let's have him go to the village. Play Skittles. I don't know what that is. He's out there trying to cope. And he's having fun with it. So that's something. Okay, James, why don't you go do something in the village too? Okay, so his fun is up a little. He's going to go have a nice little cry. Let's have him just grab an apple from here. I feel like Elric would do that. Is it the table? Is that why... Yeah, it's the table. Guess we need a new table. Okay, while he's eating those apples, I'll go ahead and change the table. Because for some reason, uh, they can't grab stuff off this one. And then I'm going to have him go hunt. See what he can find. Okay, James is back from playing Skittles. Did not like it. Let's practice some archery because that was fun for Elric. Emma made some money. We love that. She needs a bath real bad. I did create a bathhouse and I'm, oh, there's a king. Oh, actually, I do have that hairbrush mod. So brush your hair for hygiene. Let's see, why don't you brush your hair too? <laughs> She's so sad brushing her hair. Oh, and I should also roll to see how our harvest is. 
So Morbid Gamer Spreadsheet has all the seasonal stuff listed here and you can roll to see how your crops are going to do that season. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so a three. So that means we are going to have a crops blight, which is not great. So not only did they lose their parents and they are scraping to get by, but now their crops are going to be blighted. So they're going to have to get a bunch of stuff and hope that most of it makes it through. Oh, she's going to go mourn her mom. Oh, and there's Emma mourning her mama. They're really struggling and definitely had a good relationship with their parents. Oh, looks like Emma's taking up some late night archery. You know, having two older brothers, I guess it makes sense. They're really trying to console each other. And he's giving her a hug. That's so sweet. I feel like Elric is definitely the goofball, but with a big heart, for sure. Okay, Emma is off to work. Looks like it's James's turn to make some gruel today. I'm gonna have the boys go fish, because that could be a fun pastime. All right, so there they are, fishing. Thought I got the fishing pole override, but I guess not. The fish are too crafty today. Why don't you go do some archery? Just want these boys to have fun. They need it. And looks like there's stuff to dig for, so hopefully we can sell something. Hey, the floor is dirty. We've got a dust bunny over there. Ugh, getting their needs up is so difficult. To grab some gruel and go sweep. As for you, you have to go to work soon. So does your brother. It looked like Elric got a promotion. And so did James. So now they're armor polishers. Nice. That's also another year. So now it's 1301. I really have to work on getting these siblings married soon these guys i'm gonna i think i'm gonna have them go it's midnight but i'm going to have them go to the bathhouse they don't even get vacation days right now um and i'll probably have emma go after work tomorrow so so here's how my how my save is looking the castle's over here um and i found this medieval bathhouse in the gallery i just fixed it up a little bit i wouldn't say fix i guess um i gave it a downgrade to fit in with the medieval vibe and this lady is oh god agnes you're not dressed for the times our dad's ghost is over here i didn't notice there was a an inn attached to this as well interesting okay looks like emma can probably make her way over here too. Bring her over here. And here are the boys enjoying their bath that they desperately needed. And I think that's also bringing their fun up, which is even better. And it's pretty early, but they're hungry. I might have them go to the pub just to have a morning out. See if they can meet some people. Okay, so let's head over to the Old Quarter Tavern. So we're at the pub. Let's go grab a meal. I guess meat and cheese, because... This isn't like Henford where he has an actual meal for him, but that's okay. They're out here celebrating their promotion with meat and cheese platters. Oh, and these are his harvests, none of which I can plant this season. That's fine. And it looks like this is the first time since their parents died that they've just been relaxing and enjoying their time together as siblings. And that's really sweet. Ooh, we've got a knight down here just hanging out too. Let's see who's out on the town today. See if we can meet anyone new. Okay, Miss Crumplebottom. This is from an override. Ooh, and the king's just wandering the streets. The prince is out here. I changed his hair color. The prince is just out here running around. Oh god, it's so unrealistic if, if I get like Emma to just meet him, but he looks like he's in disguise like that is a prince in disguise if, if i've ever seen one where is he headed let's see if i can stage a meet cute oh the queen's in here everyone is just she really just loves slumming it up oh okay and this is lady cecil and she is dressed in black and in mourning for her husband so and there's elric with a bombastic side eye i'm assuming that 
maybe James probably told him, but they probably don't know who the Cecils are. I, I don't think they're that, like, acquainted with high society to really know, but <laughs> I think Elric's just like, why are all these fancy people in here? He's just so funny. Oh my gosh, guys. Okay, so I had to take control because since he's, I guess, technically a celebrity, um, she wasn't able to, like, properly greet him, but she was actually crying over here by this fountain, so I had him go say hi to her. And they're really having a nice conversation over here. And then I went to open her sim profile. He thinks she is beautiful. And and she's also head over heels for him. Oh, or she, you know, she thinks he's really hot. Oh, oh my gosh. I don't know. This is not realistic. We've got James talking to a lady who I don't even think I know how attractive he is to her and then here we have these two she's talking to an actual prince the heir to the throne i don't know like i love drama and this could be a point of contention for him and his position as the heir like his father could take that away from him if he were to marry a peasant he can't just marry a freaking peasant i don't know it's insanity I'm going to see if he can be a little Roman. You know what? I'm going to focus on these two. These guys are fine. I'm going to send them home. Go on, go home. So I can focus on these two. Let's see if he can give her a little romantic spirit. A little flirtation. He can beguile her. Okay, tell her that she's beautiful. That she is so beautiful. Oh, and he sees that she's optimistic and he really likes that. He's got a really good reputation for me for being a good guy and they're really hitting it off go ahead and beguile her see how that goes oh there you go uh all right so let's complete our saint valentine's day stuff so she's gonna be like yeah you're actually very cute too you're very handsome as well i'm gonna i know it says technically that he's like a celebrity acquaintance but i'm gonna as I'm going to say that she doesn't know that he is the prince. And it looks like he has to run. So they had a very brief meeting here. No way. I need her to complete her love day requirements first. Hold on. <laughs> no. It looks like he has to head home. He's in a rush. He has a prince and he has princely things to do. And oh my goodness. You know, I did expect one of the siblings to have like some kind of dramatic noble affair but i did not expect it to be the actual like royalty of this land and i think i am here for it and we'll see we'll see how this goes oh and there's the king by the pub and all these ladies breaking my immersion you know i'm gonna copy agnes's outfit and give it to them because i do have an abbey in town so Oof. and the queen and the knights are in the pub this is insanity okay let's go order no we've already eaten let's just uh head home well i think okay well um i think i do have a library around here or something um she does need her logic to go up in order to get a promotion so let's see if i can get her to buy a book or something I'm going to say that she's been learning to read. I'm going to buy a book and say that she got them at whatever book place was in town. Just because I've got a few glitchy glitches in here. Okay, the boys are off to work and she's going to have a little read. I just got her the logic skill book. Let's just pretend it's some kind of regular book. I don't know. Okay, so it looks like this is working. So we should be good to go. Dad, stop. Sending me messages from the grave. And they are exhausted. So let's put them to sleep. Ugh, God, thank goodness their moods went up after having such a good day. Could not handle it. And Emma is probably feeling all types of awesome after speaking to such a handsome guy. Not knowing he's an actual prince. And I don't know. Whoever is watching this, let me know what you guys think. I think it's a good storyline. A little impossible but who knows 
Oh god, the crops are already starting to act up. And Valentine's Day was awful. I need to go foraging some more. Or actually, we can go to the market once that opens and get some ingredients. But okay, I guess it's another day of gruel. But it's fine. She has to go to work soon anyway. I'm gonna have James go fishing and also go foraging over here and gather some water. All right, that should start him off for the day. Elric is just getting his started. And I accidentally tossed the grill out, so James, very kind and sweet, made his brother some onion soup. And his fun's a little low, so before that gets too bad, let's have him practice some archery. Okay, who is... Hoost? Reginald McCrook? Why are you here? Oh, it's the tax guy. Dang it. Okay, I guess we have to go freaking pay taxes. Love that for us. Oh, God, $100. McCrook is right. Okay, Reginald. Okay, get out of my house. Go. So our boys are slowly but surely healing, and we love that for them. I'm going to have Elric go hunting again and go foraging since it's pretty early and he doesn't work until later. And James is having a nice little time fishing, I think, with a modern fishing pole. That's fine. He said this guy, I also got, found him in the gallery and he is Prince Dargor Lionette. Oh, I made the king's last name Lionette. And he's the king's brother and advisor, but he looks so like he's up to no good. He's just lurking around, peasant's home, doing God knows what. And that's another noble lady. Um, and Emma is home. She's so close to a promotion. Let's have her up her logic skills some more. I just spent too much money on a trash bin that looks apart, but... Okay. <laughs> Alrighty then. And since we have the money, I'm going to purchase some seeds, fruits, and veggies because we need them. And, and I'm going to cross my fingers that they are in season, despite the blight. Okay, we've got some green peas, some carrots, some mushrooms. Guys are working, so I can't even see what Elric picked up, but that's fine. Let's have her plant these since she loves being outside. Okay, so James got a promotion. He's a horse groomer. That's great. And he got a hefty bonus. And Elric has a vacation day. That is wonderful because they need it. What the hell? Okay. Get away from there. <laughs> Okay, so I think I'm going to end it here. Not a whole lot happened progress-wise. We need to get at least James married sometime soon. I might add some more townies as well. And then there's Matilda. We'll see where that goes. And then, of course, there's Emma and the prince possibility. So if anyone catches this, let me know what you think. And thank you for watching. I'll see you for the next decade. We're in the year 1301 currently. So... There's plenty more to go. Thanks for watching. Bye.